after work order like in case of a material there is a grn so in case of a services there is a service acceptance acceptance which is called as a service entry sheet which is created to the transaction code ml81n again you need to provide the appropriate work order number and your service entry sheet get created across the work order so your all the default values get copy into the ses so here you have to provide the accepted quantity like if they have provided the 10 number of quantity in a work order you can be accepted to so you can be do the partial service entry sheet for against the each work order so that facility was there so again the ses the work order is a commitment so ses is done across the work order so your work order commitment get zero and your actual cost will be flow into your project this is the account assignment in ses which is a network activity which is automatically get copy from your work order and once the ses will provided you need to provide a invoice against that particular procurement process or a work order so during invoice all the values get copy against that particular work order so again the invoice is the process where you can be certified the work done by the vendor and finally you need to be provided a payment through sap so this we are talking about the external procurement that is the material and services but in case of the internal activity where you need to be confirm that particular activity so after confirmation the cost will be get captured so you have to go to the activity you have to select first the activity in which new you need to be confirm then you click on the activity confirm you have to provide the actual dates and you need to provide the percentage of completion whether it is a final confirm so you need to provide it so you can be able to do the partial confirmation also in the system and then you have to click on the enter so your activity get confirm and your cost will be come as a actual cost if there is any cost on that particular activity now there is a one example where a invoicing planning for a milestone confirmation through project so again this is a ps and mm integration through the M, through the milestone confirmation so suppose there are the number of milestone which is attached to particular activity these are the milestone which already attached on the activity these are the schedule dates you can be provided the different dates for which the milestone get confirm then after maintaining the dates and assign the milestone you have to click on the edit activity on invoicing plan for that particular activity you have to copy the entire milestone along with percentage of invoice what kind of percentage of invoice you required so system will automatically generate one invoicing plan number in a background once you save that particular plan now you have to create a purchase requisition which you have seen earlier for the services account assignment n and d so the system will ask you the network and the activity number you have to save the requisition so your requisition number get created against that requisition with reference to that requisition you have to create a work order now in work order there is a tab called as a under the invoice there is a tab called as a invoicing plan so you need to provide it the invoicing plan you have to click on the invoicing plan and you have to copy that plan under that invoicing now here all the milestone get copy along with there is a one column called as a rs that is blocking indicator the 02 is called as a blocking indicator so even if i supply the provided the vendor, material uh, provided the purchase order or a work order to vendor system will not allow me to save that particular or a invoice that particular work order because i have blocked that particular payment through the invoicing so how this block will get removed so i need to go in a or a project engineer goes in a project select that particular milestone and put the actual date that is nothing but a confirmation of that milestone so once you confirm that particular milestone system will automatically remove the block from the work order See if I see in here, I have confirmed the first milestone, so my block will get removed. That means now it is ready for invoice.
so I can raise the invoice against that particular work order. So only that amount system will allow me to do the invoice in the system against that particular work order. So this is the invoicing plan from milestone confirmation through project system module. Same way it will work for the sales order where I have a s activity, I have a WBS, I have assigned the mi milestone on that activity or a WBS. I have copied that WBS in a sales order, all the active, all the milestone get copy along with a reference number and I have confirmed that milestone in a project system then only my milestone will, block will be get removed in a sales order. So this is the integration of PP, PS and MM and PS and SD. Progress analysis, the progress analysis which gives you the idea whether your progress is a underrun or a overrun of a schedule or a cost. So there are different methods which is provided by the SAP work based method, weight based method, cost based method. So you need to be provided a plan of percentage of completion. Then later on you need to be provided the acti actual work percentage of completion with providing the actual start and finish date. This is all you have maintained against that particular WBS and the activity under the progress tab. So these are the progress methods. So I have maintained the 15% against the 20% planning. Then there is a one T code called as a CNE1 where you need to run the progress, actual progress of that particular project or a WBS for which period you want and which method you apply. So this is indicating the progress version that is the method and the period. If you rerun on a test run, it will be showing the test result. If you untick that test run, system will showing you the or a, execute the actual progress analysis. So to run the actual progress analysis, after CNE1, you have to run the report CNE5. That is the progress analysis report. So for that particular WBS and particular project, you can get a aggregated, non-aggregated POC, budget cost work schedule, budget cost work perform, project cost and actual work done. So this kind of different analysis you get and the different reports you get on your base methods. Finally the chapter which is called as the project closing. So project will be closed by the two ways financial closing and the technical closing. So the financial closing which is called as the settlement of the project and the technical closing which is called as the status wise close. So select the appropriate WBS where you first need to be maintain the settlement rule then you need to be maintain the settlement rule 